Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so I deleted the public class and the pub and, and the pub and the, and the main method. I deleted them right because I said once in a while I wanted Ash to get used to the um the creating the class and the method by ourselves. And so we can see that the file is saved. Learn Java. Remember, we said that the name of the class always has to be same the same as the name of the file, right? So I'm going to create my public class. It has to be the same as the name of the file, which I've already done. I just um, deleted it. If you can see, I'm, I'm going to undo so you see what I just did. All right, it was already there. See, so I'm just create, creating it from scratch just so we get used to it. So public class, it has to be the same as the name of the file. All right, and white space doesn't really matter. I can close those white spaces. I'll create my public. My main method, main method, public static void main. Don't worry about this. Remember, I said I explained what they are, you know, briefly. But then, don't worry too much if you don't understand what these keywords are saying. All right, so now we're back to where we were. All right, so in this video, let's talk about initializing variables of the same data type that that are declared on, uh, on one line, right? And you see it. So now we know we can do things like we can declare variables this way. We can see a double number, right? And we can come down here and say number is equal to let's say six point seven. We know this is going to work. Compile this, run it, and nothing happens because we are not displaying it. So let's display it. Let's have system dot out dot print ln, and let's display. The content of number. Let's actually have a message and say the content of or the, yeah, the content of number is. And let's concatenate with the variable number. Compile this, run it, and we can see that it's say the content of number is six point seven. Right. We know we can declare the variable on one line and initialize it on, on another line. We also know that we can initialize it on one line. This way we can say double number is equal to instead of doing it separately, we can say double number is equal to six point nine. Let's say eight point nine. Right? We can do it this way all on one line. We saw that in the in one of the videos, previous videos. Compile this, run it, and you can see it still works. The contents of number is eight point nine. Now we also saw that we can declare multiple variables instead of doing something like this second number. Third number. Let's take this. Delete this because uh, we don't have that number variable anymore. And so we we can we we know that we can do this, right? Or we can declare all three on one line as long as they have the same type. Because these are doubles, we don't have to type double each time all the time. Because um, yeah, because these are all the of the same type, we don't have to type double all the time, right? We can just say double, right? And declare all the double variables after the, this type. We can say double number, second number. We are declaring all the variables because they are the same type double, third number. And now we don't need these two statements. We have declared three variables all on one line double number, second number, third number. So that's where we got to in one of the videos. Um, we declared multiple variables on the same data type. Now, in this video, I wanted us to talk about initializing. You can initialize these variables on the same line also. You don't have to come down here and say number is equal to 8.7. Oh, actually, we have the number variable. I, 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 I thought we didn't have it. Okay, it's fine. So we don't have, we can do this, right? Terminate it, and it's still going to work. When I come down here and I say, I just deleted that. The content of number is that's concatenated with a value number, right? It, it, you can see it still works. Compile this, run it, and it tells you the content of number is 8.7. You can see we can you can do it separately. We've declared these variables all right. We can initialize them, you know, separately. Or we can actually initialize them. We can declare multiple variables of the same data type on one line. At the same time, whilst we are declaring multiple variables of the same data type on one line, we can initialize them. In there, we can say number is equal to uh, 45.5. Okay, this hasn't this hasn't been declared, but it hasn't been initialized. This has been declared, it hasn't been initialized. This has been declared as a double. 
but it has been initialized. It's, it's, only, it's the only double here that has been initialized. And so something like this you can do, right? You have one line where you declare three variables and initialize one, all on one line. Now we are printing out the content of number which has been declared and initialized. Compile this, you can see it works. Run it and see the content of number is 45.5. At the same time, you can also initialize some of these. You can you can you can decide not to initialize this. You can initialize third number to let's say six point eight. Compile this and it works. But now we have to display the content of third number two. Let's concatenate a new line character to this here, and then continue and say the content of third number is, and then let's concatenate it to the value of third number. Compile this, see it works, run. The content of number is 45.5, the content of third number is 6.8. And so in this video, I wanted you to see that we've seen a video where we know that we can de define or declare multiple variables of the same data type by just separating them with commas and just typing the type once, right? Instead of de declaring them on multiple, multiple lines, although you can, although it works, but this is much more efficient, right? You have one line, you're declaring three variables and initializing two of them. Right, all in one line. This is a double variable that has been declared but hasn't been initialized. You can go ahead and initialize it to say 6.7. So now in this case we've declared three variables, initialized all three of them, and it's all in one line, which is really nice and handy. You can decide not to initialize some of them, you can just declare them. And so I just wanted you to see the multiple on multiple lines. Doing it, doing it, you know, declaring single variables, uh, de declaring single variables on one line, initializing single variables on one on one line, declaring multiple variables on one line, initializing multiple variables on one line. I wanted you to see the mix. Okay, you can initialize some of them and and not initialize some of them, and you can you can do all this on one line. So I wanted you to see the mix because this will come in handy when you're writing your programs, uh, and so I just want you to see it. All right. So if you have any questions, okay, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them as always. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.